Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing another Let's Play video and we're gonna be doing it on Bowser's Fury. So this game actually just came out today and I actually was waiting around because I did want a physical copy. So I managed to pick up my physical copy today. And that's why this video is probably coming out later at the end of the day rather than at the beginning. Of course, if I would have downloaded it, I could have had it since yesterday midnight. But since I absolutely wanted a physical copy, I did have to wait till the store is open. Now, um, what's really fun is that if this is the first time you're playing this game, you actually don't have to play the main game before you want. You can jump right into Bowser's Fury. So, of course, this is a pack with Super Mario 3D World, and they added on the second mode, which is called Bowser's Fury. Now, um, basically, today we're just going to be playing Bowser's Fury because this is a port from a Wii U game. I'm sure it's just as good as it was on the Wii U, even probably better with a higher frame rate. However, what I think everyone's pretty excited to see is some gameplay from the Bowser's Fury part of the game. So anyway, as usual, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, don't forget that if you do like this video as we go through the, the Let's Play, do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. But now we're going to get started. Now, I haven't played the game at all yet. Uh, I just fired it up to and started the first cutscene. So we're going to start a new game. The only thing I saw was the beginning of the cutscene because I wanted to make sure the, guy, the game fired up and I wanted to test the setup and everything. But uh, the one thing I first noticed, though, in the cutscene is that the first loading screen is actually quite long. So uh, while it's uh, the game is loading up, I just want to also explain to you that there is a day one patch for this game. So if you're just picking it up and you have a slow internet connection, make sure to pop the cartridge in and download that day one patch before firing up the game so that you don't have to wait around for to be able to play. Now, when I got it, I popped it in. My internet connection isn't too bad, so it only took a couple of minutes to download, but I just wanted to throw that out there for everyone. So, we're getting, I saw the beginning of this cutscene, basically Mario's walking around and he's going to walk in this black goop. From there on out, I'm not too sure what happens. Oh, so we get the symbol and Mario's pulled in to a different world. Sort of a usual opening for somewhat a lot of Mario games, something like this. So far as expected from a Mario game, oh, that looks like one of the big Bowser's paws because at this point I think pretty much everyone saw some of the spoilers that are out there. So we seem to have landed in one of the huge Bowser's paws. Just as expected for a Mario game so far, the controls are looking very smooth. And we do have a free roaming camera in this one, so 360 degree view. So this doesn't look like a closed off, like any plane of, of game. The camera is really free rolling. So let's just look around here. Jump. Oh, and there we seem to have the huge Bowser in the background. Well, I guess this is the way they want us to go. And I'm guessing we have to get to the top of that thing to get whatever that charm thing looks like. Okay. Oop. I guess that's how we get up there. Let's grab a couple of coins. A cat shine. Make the lighthouse shine. Okay. Oh, that actually hurt his hit bar there. So I guess uh, these lighthouses actually damage Bowser. So as we're getting started, just to explain, we're probably going to be doing about a half hour of gameplay. Uh, basically, I want to see what the basic mechanics of the Bowser's Fury is. I'm thinking about... In a half an hour, we should have a generic idea of exactly how it's going to play through and what the exact goal of the game is. Uh, 
I heard this campaign is about three to four hours, and I personally will be finishing this campaign before the main game, just since it's already available at the beginning, and this is sort of the new content. So let's go check her out at Lighthouse. Oh, we seem to be able to go to the top. And basically, if I'm not mistaken, that black stuff was everywhere, like before with the Lighthouse open. So I'm guessing that these lighthouses will sort of open up new areas of the map or something like that, but we'll see as we go along. So we get a pretty good view that, yeah, for now, this is pretty much it. This is what we have access to. Now, obviously, as everyone, I've heard some of the rumors online and, you know, people talk about like an open world, Breath of the Wild Mario style. It doesn't seem to be as vast as that, but it does seem to be open world. So let's see what we can figure out as we go. Oh, and Bowser Jr. seems to go over here. Let's see what this has to do. Okay, so Bowser. Turned into the Fury Bowser or whatever they call it in this game. Looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. Mario, dad is out of control. I don't know what happened. Okay. I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad. I can't change that back myself. Okay. So obviously, probably Mario's going to have to help out. I'd never ask you for help. Never, ever. But I'll do anything to save Papa, so help me, Mario. Okay. Of course, Mario being the ultimate good guy he is, looks like we're going to help make Bowser go back to normal. So we've teamed up with Bowser Jr. How much should he help? Oh, that's interesting. So we can go a little, a lot, or none at all. Let's go with a little. That seems to be the default. See how, how that plays out. So basically, I'm not going to take too much time to try and find secrets and stuff like that. We're going to try to get as far as we can in the game in about half an hour. Oh, so mushroom. Oh, that's interesting. We seem to be accumulating them back down there at the on the left. So this dude. Oof. I have to get my I have to get my Mario legs back because Mario seems to be moving faster than most other games in this. So the timing on his jumps is off. Oh, and it seems that Bowser Jr. can kill people too. So that's good to know. Make the lighthouse shine. So. Seems we have another lighthouse up there. Let's try and see if we can get to it. Oh, cat fell already. Let's transform into Cat Mario. There seems to be something up there. Let's go look at it. I know I said I don't want to find secrets, but I mean, that was so obvious. Oh, we seem to accumulate these. Looks like those the five coins that you accumulate in some of the Mario games. Oh, oh. what was that here? I don't know why that showed up there for a second, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Get coins, coins, coins. Oh, little kitties. Oh, we can pick up the little kitties. Not quite sure if there's anything to do with them, but at least we know we can pick them up. Yeah, so we seem to be accumulating the extra power-ups there at the bottom on the left. So it seems to be the up arrow key to use them. Let's just check that out. Okay, yeah, so you can basically select them and you can use the power-ups that you store. Interesting. Get by that, pretty easy. There we go. Oh, there's another one of those charms. Let's see if we can't get it. Oof, that was bad. I guess we could we should be able to run up the wall since we're Cat Mario on this side. Actually, let's just see if there's anything around here. Nope. Oh. Love those cat bells.
Oh, it's Bow. I think it's Bowser Jr. that makes those invisible blocks appear. Yeah. So he seems to show you where the invisible blocks are. So the it's more than just combat assistance. He sort of helps you figure out what the secret stuff is. Okay, move out of the way. So actually, let's just go to the top of the lighthouse first, instead of trying to collect those red things. It's like I said, the point is we want to try and get as far as we can in the game as we can in about half an hour. Let's pick up another one of these and light the lighthouse. So, so far, nothing really seems to have changed much though after that one. It's a Gigabell. I heard a cool saying about these. I think it was when the beast rises, the Gigabell will ring or something. Maybe we've got this splotchy goop off first. Some more cat shines might do the trick. Ah, so we need five of the... Wow, that was bad. So we need five of the cat shines to basically... So let's use one of our power-ups here. Okay. So we need five cat shines to awaken the Gigabell. Oh, the music just changed all of a sudden. I wonder what that's about. I'm guessing Bowser's coming back, if I had to guess. I'm not sure what triggered it. Is it because I went to a, another part of the island? It's ground pound. Okay, so not too sure what's going to happen here, but Bowser seems to be uh, awakening, if you will. By the way, if you do hear some footsteps and whatnot, the kids are home today, so... But I wanted to record this without waiting, so... Okay. Oh. Boomerang grows. I love those. So, for the moment, he seems to be raining down fireballs. Not sure if there's anything else that's gonna happen, but... Not quite sure what we do to stop it. Oh, another one of these. Good. At least you sort of know where the fireballs are going to drop. Let's get one of this guy's out. Oh, and we got ourselves a star. Sure what's happening now bowser's retreating so so far i'm not sure if it's on a time cycle or anything like that but at least we know that if you wait long enough he seems to just move on so when he's there just don't get hit by the fire stuff and it seems all pretty good Those. So basically the plan now is let's get five, uh, let's get five charms. I want to see what that Gigabell, that Gigabell thing does. And we're opening up another lighthouse. Pretty good. Oh, so this one did clear up right away some extra black goop stuff. And there seems to be a charm there. I wonder if I switch to my suit, if we can just fly down and nab it. We probably could have if I wouldn't have done that really bad. I was scared of overshooting it, and I, rather than holding it, I was tapping it. We'll go back to that. Let's let's keep going for the moment. Let's go back to our cat suit here. Run up this thing. So if we have to bully the bullies, I'm guessing we have to throw them in those holes. And I definitely want the cat suit to do that because we can pound them into the hole.
you down. Whoa, that is not good though. Okay, let's try that again. So it took away, I think, 50 coins, was that it? Let's try this again. Let's grab our cat suit. What's this thing here? Let's grab a spare fire flower, it's always good. Pop back to our cat suit. There we go, we have two in the bank. So we can bank more than one power-up. I don't know how many power-ups we can bank, but we can definitely bank more than one. Let's do this smarter this time. Yeah, that's it. Let's work towards the outside. Just get them in those holes. There we go. This last one is in the middle, so this one we have no choice. We have to sort of... There we go. And we've got ourselves our... Or chime. So let's get this. So so far the principle seems that like each one of these little islands have a lighthouse. You have to unlock the lighthouse, gives you it unlocks more of the map. And you know we collect these things like Super Mario 64, like with like the different stars and all that. And there's a hidden block here. Yeah, this could have helped most likely. I wonder if you could have just bashed them in like that. Let's actually go to the top of the lighthouse. Let's just get a lay of the land quick. Here's an... That splashy goop will vanish under the light of the cat shine. But some of those cat shines are a bit shy. You can't find one. Try looking on another island. Yeah, so. Perfect. So it's pretty much what I just said. Basically, the more islands we... The more lighthouses we unlock, the more access we'll get to the map. And the more access we have to the map, the more of those we can collect. Anyway, we only need one more to get the Giga Bell working, so let's focus on that. I don't know what the easiest one would be to pick up after this. Was there another island that we hadn't gone to yet? Not really. But there must be, like, more than one for some of these islands. Like... Obviously, there must be secondary objectives. Five to awaken. And the music's changing again, is it? Oh, wait, this changed. Okay. What do we do here? Uh, we must have to... Okay, there we go. Oh, another cat chime that will be number five and we'll get our Giga Bell. Uh, then it's a race, so let's make sure we can do this quick. We made it just in time, but we made it. So we've got our fifth cat shine. So now let's go look at that Gigabell thing. Let's see what that's all about. Message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. When the beast awakens, so shall I. Okay, so it seems maybe like we can't use it unless Bowser's awake. So, but let's go check that out. Okay, yeah. So nothing's happening now because I guess Bowser isn't around. I'm not too sure what we need to do to wake him up, but. Let's just, we'll just make sure that we're not too far so that the next time he comes around, we can jump right on this thing. Now there's another one there. I, oh, the music's changing. I do think we're going to get another Bowser fight. Yeah, there he is. So I'm just going to stay around the bell thing and we'll figure this out. There we go. And right on cue, the bell is uh, opening up. So I guess in the previews, pretty much everyone saw it. But I guess this is the thing that's going to make us the huge cat Mario. So let's go figure it out. So 
Oh, that was right on the money. Now, what exactly happens? We'll figure that out as well. So, uh, Cat Mario can just... Okay, I guess we can't just hit him. And now we lost Cat Mario. Ooh, let's make sure not to get hit by that. And ground Pound. There we go. So, it seems like a standard Bowser fight, other than the fact that you're moving around like sluggishly because we're supposed to feel like we're super huge. So now he's going to send off a fire attack and we got hit. Not too good. So we really can't get hit again. Let's make sure not to get hit by that. Ground pound. Oh, I think we need one. I think he needs one more shot. Oh, there's another cat bell there. Nice. Okay, so they make sure that you have the access to the power up again. And we lose it right out, which is pretty much the way it goes. But. Not the best fight ever, but for a first try, not too bad either. At least we won. So now what happens? Like I said, I heard the campaign is three to four hours, so obviously this can't be the end. It must be like in every Mario game, you have to beat Bowser like three, four times. But what exactly happens when we beat him? Okay, so I'm not too sure what this is, but looks pretty interesting. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. He sank back into the lake, but trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my papa. Of course, we need to make him really see the light. The way to do that is to find more cat shines. More of that splotchy stuff went away, so there must be new islands to explore. Let's check the map and get a hurry on. Oh, so now, we'll, wow, that unlocked a huge part of the map. So I think at this point, we've got a pretty decent idea of how this is going to play out. So if you get lost, just press uh, K minus to open up the map. So I think we've got a pretty good idea of how this plays out. You collect the shines. Your point is to get enough to unlock those Giga Bells. There must be a few others throughout the map. And then basically each time you beat Bowser, you unlock a huge portion of the map. So, I mean, we're going to we're going to go see what this guy wants or we're probably going to ride on his back because I, you know, we've seen this before in, in Super Mario World. But that seems to be the pretty much the premise of the game. Now, honestly, the graphics, the controls are really pretty amazing. So, I mean, I really cannot complain about any of that on this game, but it's a Mario game. So really... It would have been like a first if it hadn't had excellent controls and all that stuff. So that just seems like a way to get you quickly from one island to the other. I don't know, the dimensional stuff. Dimension. Let's, uh, I like. Let's do this. There's a lot of them around. I like having my boomerang. Let's get rid of them. But ultimately, I mean. This game seems really interesting, and honestly, just the fact that at least for once Nintendo didn't just give us a flat-out port of a Wii U game, and they actually added in a whole new thing, and honestly, this open world thing it makes a lot of fun. It almost feels like a blend between more traditional Mario games and Mario Odyssey. I don't think like we're going to get a open world Breath of the Wild Mario game anytime soon. But 
it seems like a first step or a trial run for this. And honestly, like I said before, I'm going to be probably 100%ing Bowser's Fury before even touching 3D Mario World since this is the new content. And I'm actually pretty satisfied with what I got. Now, can I actually go over spikes? Yeah, I can. I was pretty sure I could. But we're going to end the video in a couple of minutes, and I missed that uh, that red cat shine thing. But So we'll have to replay this without a doubt. It would have been fun to see what getting five of those get us. Like, is it another, just another cat shine? Oh, we got a cat shine at least at the end of the course. But like I said, we're probably going to be ending the video here. Let me just make sure I can pause the game and whatnot. But honestly, uh, it seems pretty interesting. And the fact that you can actually play in two-player mode, because basically you can have one person control Mario, the other one control Bowser Jr. So you actually can play co-op in this game is actually pretty interesting. So they kept that. And honestly, I am really impressed with Bowser's Fury. Of course, the campaign is only three to four hours, like they said, and some people were disappointed. But you're getting it slapped on with a full Mario game, which is... To be expected at this point and honestly um i hope you guys like this video uh, i'm gonna try to do a lot more let's plays because it's been getting some really positive feedback but if there's anything i could do better sorry for the running around again uh, please let me know and as i said at the beginning of the video the best way to show me you're liking these videos are to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you aren't already don't forget to hit the notification bell but like i said we're gonna end things here and as usual i hope i'll see you in my next video.